member, Calgary Foothills. Mr. Speaker, the Trans Mountain Pipeline expansion project has run into red tape of Burnaby, where the mayor and bureaucrats complain of being too busy and are needing more time for reviews with no end in sight. The delays are costing Kinder Morgan about 35 million a month, plus an additional 90 million in lost revenue for every single month of delay. By wasting Kinder Morgan's money, is the NDP trying to kill 7.4 billion private investment and thousands of jobs? Thousands of jobs. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And of course, it's the uh, Conservative side of the House that would like nothing more than for this pipeline to fail, Mr. Speaker. They've got their pom-poms out. They are ready to cheer for Alberta's demise. But you know what, Mr. Speaker? We are focused on making life better for Albertans, fighting every day for good jobs, for our energy industry, by ensuring that uh, our voice is heard at the National Energy Board with respect to uh, the Trans Mountain Pipeline, Mr. Speaker. We are the ones who are making life better for Albertans. Yeah. Mr. Speaker, given that I have been to the Westridge Marine Terminal in Burnaby, where the Trans Mountain Pipeline terminates, and given the facility is a tiny footprint hidden among the trees and park space, with only three tanks and a jetty to load boats, what has the Minister of Energy done to knock some common sense into the Mayor of Burnaby to stop delaying permits for a project deemed to be in national interest by the National Energy Board? Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, this kind of uh, uh, violent language is completely inappropriate and, 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 and just completely unnecessary, Mr. Speaker. One jurisdiction does not have the right to obstruct a project of national importance. We've been clear as a government on this matter. The city of Burnaby is overreaching, uh, and uh, we have been very clear with, at both the National Energy Board level, with the Premier of British Columbia, with the federal leader of the NDP, and as much as that matters, Mr. Speaker, we have been clear from the very beginning that this pipeline is in Alberta's interest, it's in Canada's national interest, and it will get built, Mr. Speaker. I remember I too find words uh, like knocking in the head are not advisable in this house. I heard it. I heard earlier the use of the word war. Can we please use your different language in refers to, to violence? You have a for, for a second supplement. What, what was Mr. Speaker, given that uh, TELUS has its headquarters in Vancouver and major offices in Burnaby, BC. And since Burnaby is no longer a business-friendly town, and given the ample empty office space in downtown Calgary, and given that Premier is going to be in BC soon, will she meet tell us CEO and, and, and entice them to, move, to relocate their operations and head office to a business-friendly city like Calgary? Honourable Minister. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, uh, uh, we are focused on uh, the two pipelines that we have gotten approved, while Jason Kenney and the Conservatives are focused on themselves and their political interests, Mr. Speaker. While we've been busy fighting for, to get two pipelines built, Jason Kenney is making re reckless promises, Mr. Speaker, that only, would only mean more blocked pipelines. Our climate leadership plan got this done in two years. Jason Kenney sat in Ottawa for two decades and did nothing to move this matter forward, Mr. Speaker.